uh, welcome chat to the Signalis stream. Uh, welcome I... chat, we're playing <laughs> Signalis today. Um, oh right, ad breaks. God, I still, I oh, haven't no. figured those out yet. I'm trying so hard. I'm not trying at all, honestly. I haven't actually gone and looked. Um, because I've been dealing with, like, everything else that's been happening. Um, but I do want to go look, because I feel really bad about it. Um. But yeah, Signalis. Uh, I remember very little about what happened, except that we did a whole bit about Minecraft Flesh Horror. Yeah, we did puzzles and Minecraft Flesh Horror. Welcome, Mushroomelion! So, as a, as a very quick recap to what happened last time, uh, we woke up on a crashed spaceship, the Penrose 512, on the, uh, the surface of a strange, unknown, uncharted planet. After going around the ship, investigating a little bit, finding a picture, a photograph of a woman, and managing to unlock the controls to get out to the surface of the planet, we continued through a sort of uh, surreal haze through a number of gateway structures and found a hole. There were stairs going down the side of the hole. We go down into it, and it's um, red, but don't worry about it. Probably not flesh horror. And there's a smaller hole, just big enough to crawl through, at the bottom of this hole. And we crawl through it. And then we wake up somewhere else with only the message remember our pr remember your promise oh it was remember our promise yeah, actually we're, we're going through it I, I, there was the other like robot girl who died right yeah so we then wind up somehow uh smash cut to the serpinski mining base it is decrepit it is short-staffed and uh weirdly out of order and as we go inside, we find that something is very wrong. We are playing as Elster, a replica unit, and we find the bodies of several more replicas lying dead. And we find another who is heavily injured, who manages to tell us very little, before sending us off to try and find a way to progress further into the facility. On our way back, after finding the uh, officer's office and retrieving a gun from it, one of those dead bodies got up to attack us, which is probably fine and normal. We made our way back up uh, to find that our friend who we met before was missing. And we met someone else who had a butcher knife and was very busy um, butchering something for some reason and said, hi, bestie, and then left. And then we left. We managed to get down a couple floors, and we are just continuing to work our way through the facility. Right. And everything's going to be good and fine, and we're going to fulfill our promise and get a happy And there ending. will be no more Minecraft flesh horror. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. There was also the King in Yellow. We also found a copy of the King in Yellow. Don't oh, worry yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. I love the King in Yellow. It was Yellow. probably just a... It was probably just the book King in Yellow and not, like, the book from the book King in Yellow. Let's see. Uh, this one is later, so that's probably... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. This is the save thingy. This is the items box, right? Yes. Yeah. We got an ad break. We do got an ad break. It's fine. Uh, I can... I was planning to just sort of, like, remember how the mechanics work during the ad break. Because I don't know what's going on ever. Alright, we've got WASD, we've got F or right, right mouse button, left shift to run, inventory is tab, map is M, tune radio, whenever we get that, is QE. Ready weapon is right mouse button, fire weapon is left, reload is R, use is C, aim is mouse. We gotta get mouse in here. 
<laughs> True. We, we can't aim without mouse. Aim. I'm sure we won't need to aim too much. Oh yeah, we also did the whole like uh mouse stats bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was All good. Right. We've got like fifteen seconds left. There's a Red Bull add on. Red Bull add on. No, I I messaged my mouse spouse after and I was like, we were talking about mouse stats. Mm. Yay, break over. Okay. And we're back. Hi, Elster. Elster's having a good normal time. Is there such a thing as a good normal time? Okay, that's a uh, Unlikely. Scientists have yet to confirm that good normal time exists. <laughs> I don't remember which direction we were going, uh, so I'm just gonna guess. I don't remember this place, so this is probably fine. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Memorandum, wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Adler. Thanks, Adler. Yeah, thanks, Adler. Okay. We don't know the code yet. Uh... Something about what a radio I, frequency. Like, on... Yeah, but I don't um... think we have a radio yet. I'm trying to remember how to like back out. Oh, there. I am so smart and clever and good at things. Yeah. Disposable stun prod. Cool, okay. Alright, one of our six items that we get to hold on to. Oh, we have storage now. Electro impulse devices. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro impulse devices. We've been supplied with a shipment of EIG-2 disposable stun prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handbook for more information. What are the recent events? Don't worry I'm about it. Know. Don't worry about it. Oh, also, Mushroomellion says, Mice are one of the best animals, I think. However, they do attempt to run up your sleeves sometimes, but it's okay because they make up for it by being soft. So true. That's just perfect creature behavior. Exactly. Uh, Electro Impulse Garot EIG2. I'm gonna mangle all the German, I'm sorry. We need, we need Koda to just come in and read the German words. Yeah. Or Noven. Or Noven. Or several people. Or it's several fine. people. Um, I know as many as several people who speak German, which is cool. German's a cool language. Uh, Could get my dad to come do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call your dad immediately right now. All right, hang on. Let no, me... no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's the... no calling your dad on Serpinski. <laughs> There's no calling your dad on Serpinski. The e the the I should I should make that the title of the episode. Uh, someone write that down for me. The EIG two stun prod is a single use, short range, disposable, non lethal solution for incapacitating non cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown on the lower left of the inventory screen. The EIG two the EIG two stun prod can be used with one hand while on the move and even while aiming another weapon. Once equipped, to use the stun prod, simply press C when facing a nearby enemy. Warning. High voltage electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care. Do not deploy on elderly pregnant or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. Fun. Yeah. Um, recent events. Useful things. Yeah, we're having normal time. Uh, ammo. I like having ammo. ammo it's good. better than not having ammo. Wonderwaffen. Uh, 
never a loaded term. I'm trying to... I, I don't know Waffen. What's Waffen? Uh, weapon. This is the term uh, often used to attribute various Nazi efforts at making some kind of gimmicky super weapon that would win the war for them. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Things like their death rays, flying saucers, the um, multiple different caustic fuel propelled no landing gear planes that melted more of their own pilots than got any kills. It's always yeah, kind of thing. depressing when like hypothetical super weapons destroy more of their own side than the other side, like just conceptually. I'm sure that would never happen. Yeah, totally. that would never happen. Um but no it's conce- such a cool conceptually thing. It it's like won't kill everyone. You put all of your faith in something that is so volatile and it blows up on you and like obviously it's good that it doesn't work probably when it's you know done by the Nazis but also you got to wonder about like the the anyone who was like pressed into work or something and got caught in the not crossfire but yeah but you know it killed a lot of nazis so like praxis yeah praxis um but also conceptually depressing so so let's see what we got here let's see what this uh this lovely propaganda poster is super weapons of our nation in the battle against the empire falk units Well, if I'd realized, honestly, if I'd realized it was going to translate it for me, we would not have had that fun conversation. So, East Wind Key. I love <laughs> to find a key. Every time something appears in text, it will uh, give us a literal text translation, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, but also, I like, like I like having things. conversations with you. Oh, uh, thank you. Interrogation report. Subject worker. This is S- what I'm here for: running up sleeves and having conversations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are sitting on my shoulder, probably, uh, and peering at this interrogation report with me. Yeah. S twenty three A six five fourteen Chen Wilhelm. Offense: contraband found in locker. Result: confession. Punishment: no food. Three cycles. So is a cycle like a day type thing? Like day night cycle. That's a safe assumption. Subject, worker S23A3054, Wong Michaela. Offense, illegal use of radio. Result, confession. Punishment, ISO, presumably isolation, two cycles. Subject, worker S23A4952, Wong Wolfgang. Offense, illegal use of radio. Result, expired during interrogation. Punishment, none. Ah. Ah. I'm really enjoying the, like, cultural mismatch of the first and last names. I think that's really good. There's a lot of intention. There's a lot of intentionality to that. Oh, absolutely. But also, it's just very good. Like, there's a <laughs> lot of storytelling right there. Uh, subject worker S twenty three A. 3928 Huo frowns. Offense, obscenity to the state. Result, passed out during interrogation. Punishment, double work shift, two cycles. <sighs> Normal things. Normal things. Subject, worker S23A7331, Huang Emily. Uh, offense, trespassing. Result, expired during interrogation. Punishment, none. Fun! Fun, normal things that are not concerning yeah. in the slightest. Yeah, good thing we're here to um, look for that woman and remember our promise. Yeah, okay, so that's where we came from. Is this anything? Oh, yes, I remember this. Oh, right. 
We don't have this key yet. This is fine. Yeah. We get to uh, keep exploring right. somewhere. That's locked. That's probably where we came from. Let's see. Can. Yes, East Wing Key. Noise. Noise. I love going behind locked doors. Stall is locked. Is someone inside? Marshmallion says, yet again, as the Illuminae files parallels increase, I feel more anticipation. I need to read that series. One of these days, I will get around to it. Affirmations. Repair patch. Well, that's nice. That's good. Not concerning at all. Don't worry about it. Yeah, not definitely not concerning. The good news is, may maybe we'll find our friend who got hurt, and now we'll have repair patches, and, and we can help her. Okay, we can get through to there. Yeah, maybe we will, and maybe we won't. It's not the 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 prognosis is not looking super great. Uh... Oh, repair spray. Is the repair spray? I don't know if we've seen that yet. I don't think we have. Hang on, let me. A single use spray gun to fill damaged areas with polyurethane based expanding foam restores a large amount of health over time. Cool. Okay. Yeah, just. just you, you got a wound? Just stick that full of polyurethane. Don't worry about it. Repl replica's got it good. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. We have, we have a gun. Do we have? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna just. Let's just take a little exit. Okay, crystal. I think we can equip the stun prod as a tool to have that in like your offhand. I don't know how things work. Action menu? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now it's in your, your, your offhand. So yeah, you can aim with mouse, shoot with the other mouse button at the same time, yep. press C to uh, whack someone. Uh, hey, oh friend. no, it's Minecraft Flesh Horror. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, I don't... I don't want to get, like, into attack range, but I don't want to shoot her if, like, she's not actually a threat. What was that? a great question. Oh, actually, hmm. Try tuning your radio here. See if it does anything. We don't have a radio yet. Nuts. Yeah. Uh, Mushroom Alien says, it specifically reminds me of two things in Illuminae. Afflicted observation reports during the zombie movie-ish portion and also that you can identify different families in the eight pages of names of deceased after a massacre. Say Magpie, so I'm technically streaming, but I've decided to watch y'all instead. It's more interesting. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a great decision, but thank you. Um, Mushroom Ellie, you have it. reminded me of um, my favorite zombie movie of all time, Pontypool. Which is, it's a zombie movie, but the infection is linguistic. Like, it spreads when you hear and understand an infected word. Ugh. Mm-hmm, it's so cool. That's, um, hmm. It's my favorite zombie movie. I really, really love 
how how it's done. I please listen. Anyone who wants to watch Pontypool, hit me up. I will happily watch Pontypool any day of the week. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, so they're still they're still um chopping, poking, uh, whatever they're doing down there. They sure are. Um. Okay, need the key for that. Hey, buddy. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> um, but yeah, in Pontypool, there's one bit where there is a, like, obituary section, uh, and it just, like, chains from family member to family member as it's like, and so-and-so was survived by such-and-such such for about two minutes before they also died, and it's this really darkly funny bit. Uh, God, Pontypool is such a good movie. Everyone should watch Pontypool. You know, as someone who does great with horror media, I'll keep that in mind. I it's <laughs> um it's not it's not very like jump scary it's you want you want to know a terrible secret what I'm bad at jump scares but I can deal with them that's why I play Minecraft the thing I love that you. really fucks with me and stops me from watching stuff is if it's like a disaster movie sort of thing mm -hmm. and zombie movies almost always fall into that Oh yeah, I have I have a whole thing about how zombie media is like more depressing than it is scary a lot of the time. Yeah. There's this giant zombie book that I have in my bag that I've had in my backpack for like I think over yeah, over a year now. Um that I am maybe a third of the way through that I just keep not going back to because it keeps being, like, really depressing. Yeah. Man, I was scared of zombies for a long time. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I did. Uh, in high school, one of my friends was in a musical about zombies. Uh, the title was, This is a Musical About Zombies. And I went, oh fuck, a musical. I can't miss it, but I'm scared of zombies. So I sat down and I wrote zombie stories until I was like, okay, I can handle this. And it's the best way to cope. And the best reason. True. So speaking of coping with zombies, what do we want to do about our, um... This guy? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Met, How was the... Still there, was, there was a thing for, like, finishing them, but I can't remember. I think you have to run up and maybe it's either maybe see or interact. There, okay. Okay, there you go. You figured out whatever it was. It's okay. Uh, Marsha uh, Millian the says, The afflicted are the victims of a bioweapon that degrades different areas of your brain until all you can fear is, feel is fear and causes them to lash out, which first manifests as fear of being looked at. The afflicted observation reports are from the perspective of a researcher who contracts it without realizing it uh, and slowly gets less and less professional as their impulse control is degraded until it's just a page of don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me with blood spatters all over the page. page. Hey, hey, that fucks. I need to read the Illuminate... <laughs> I need to read the Illuminate files, like, now. Right now. Um, I need to go to the library. Double up Signalis uh, Illuminate file stream. Yeah, real. Man. Uh, my, my other favorite takes... Uh, I think Peeps is technically a vampires take more than it is a zombies take but like it's kind of both uh so peeps by scott westerfeld is also one of my favorite takes on zombies and the girl with all the gifts is one of my favorite takes on zombies all right fun so yeah let's we yeah we've just killed another person probably well person it was self-defense ish it wasn't yeah. not self-defense can we interact with anything where they were poking at? 
Um, I don't think so. I was trying to, like, check. But I think no. No, that's, that's just a pile of sludge. That's just gore. I can't believe K Haven SMP was here. I... I don't think either of those forms of sludge are good for you. But I think they're bad for you in different ways. True. Faye says, God, this game makes me want to write King in Yellow stuff. Do it! Do it! Do it! Just do it! Just do it! Fucking, I fucking love the King in Yellow. What a guy. Service request form R90. Date of filing service request form 84213. Full protector ID of unit filing request. EULR S2303 replica. Status hey, staff. Euler. Department kitchen staff worker quarters. Object EULR RKM7 spatial navigation module. Note, my mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. Mars. The other thing about the afflicted is that some of them, instead of lashing out, start creating things or trying to solve problems that they never could uh, because they're more afraid uh, of death than the people around them. Oh, no. Wild. I see. I see movement. I also see movement. But listen, these guys don't attack unless we get close. So we've got time, space, we've got a dimension. No, yeah. I Yeah. Speaking of dimensions, do you, do you have a map that's usable yet? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay it that's... shows the door statuses too. I love that's that. That's quite comprehensive. No space to carry Mensa key. That's not great. I'm going to go put something away. It is bad when there is not room for keys. Yeah. You can't carry more than six things. Resident that, Evil. That would go against uh, that would go against the will of the uh, something or other. I watched an interesting video essay not too long ago on like. I'm gonna, I think, put the photograph away. Yeah, that's fair. You can do. Did that? Did that transfer? Oh, does it not let you? I don't know. I'm not very smart. Uh, F is transfer selected, and A D is selected. Okay, there we go. I think that worked, yes. Okay, now the photo is somewhere safe and we don't have it in our pocket anymore. There's one who solves an unsolvable equation in her own blood but dies of bloodlust before she can finish it, and one who wanders around the nearly empty ship singing opera music. That is so good. It's delightful. Uh, no, that's where we came from. Uh, Pontypool, uh, this particular thing isn't said in the movie. But the zombies are called conversationalists. Uh, and how it works is when you're infected, you feel like the only way out of the experience that you're having is to, like, eat your way out through someone else's mouth. And that's why the zombies kill. Uh, which I think is just so evocative. But yeah, that's not that's not like explained in movie, so. You love evocative fiction. I I love evocative fiction. All right, is there anything on this side, or is there just Minecraft flesh horror? There's certainly some some flesh horror. To be fair, there's gore, but I don't I don't know if we can definitively say that that's flesh. Oh. EULR. Simple Universal Light Replica Yule. Uh, 
I think a I lot think of people was... would classify gore as being a kind of flesh horror. Well, that's fair, but we do have a number of beings that are possible to make into gore, but are not flesh. Is machine gore flesh horror? Ooh, good question. I think if it is designed to mimic and seem like flesh, then yes. Okay, okay. I forget, was the was that first injured replica that we bumped into upstairs a Yule unit? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which of these doors we can now get through. Mensa. I don't... Hmm. I feel like we've seen a uh, sign I for Mensa I misremembered this as... Okay, yeah, oh. I misremembered that as no entry, but it was Need's Key, so. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go oh, save. I'm... <laughs> I'm having a normal time. Wynn is also yeah, having Alst a normal time. Alster has a normal time, the game, the movie. Um, it is so amusing to me that you signed yourself up for this. Look. I was I was put in a, I was put in a box, okay? My my wife my wife, she's always going on about this game. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know much about that's not true. She sat me down through a two hour lore video. Oh, I thought you were gonna do a Columbo I... bit about it. Oh I was I that I was. I was leading up to the Columbo bit. Oh good. But yeah, she she loves it very much, and it is inevitable that sooner or later I would get dragged into watching this. Which leads to one of two options if I do it with her. One, I do it while she's driving. And she's played the game several times and knows where all the scary things are. Oh no. Which means that she would just be driving straight through those entirely to coax the experience out of me and not to experience it herself. Or I'd be driving. And then I'd have to be driving. I'd have to be controlling in this shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's my way out. Mushroom Alien says, one of the things in Illuminae that really sticks with me is that the number of afflicted is actually lower than the number killed by one particular captain who had a bunch of quarantined refugees launched out of an airlock because she thought they had been exposed, but it was verified only after that they never made contact. Mushroom Alien, have Ooh. you seen the original Night of the Living Dead? I think you should probably watch the original Night of the Living Dead. Uh, anyway, time to go shoot. M for Mensa. What is Mensa I'm sorry. stand for again? I'm sorry, oh god, there's two of them. Oh. Mensa is like the smart people organization. That's what I, that's what I thought it was, like, IRL. I don't know what it could entail in this, or if it could be the same. Oh, it's... I can't tell if they're retaining damage. I'm having a, some 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 amount of worry about um wasting ammo. Yeah, I don't know if they retain damage when you move between rooms. This is fucking terrifying actually. <laughs> oh good, there's an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got a minute and 20 seconds to strategize and chill. Do you want me to look up enemies retain damage? Maybe. Um, man. Ah. Uh, is the answer no? Right. Um, the answer is no and a special surprise that will help us later. So should I reload? Like reload a save or reload the gun? I'll reload the save. Probably to, to save a little bit more ammo. 
I am also going to tell you that um, time is a resource. Don't worry about it. Time is a re oh no. Alright, return to <laughs> menu. Oh no. Right, uh, every time I hear the magpie signal, I shudder now because of this game. Magpie signal. Okay. So is there it's, anything uh, I should know going into here that I don't already? It is possible it is possible for you to evade enemies and avoid conflict. Okay, Mensa. Okay, that's, there's uh, a door That's about all I've got down. is... I don't know if it will be easy or if you can loot a room, but it is possible most of the time to just... You can just go. Just back dash out of there. Or front dash. Oh god. Man, see there's multiple of them. Or something. Shit! Ah! They also tend to have a pretty narrow line of sight, so you can uh, sneak around them. I mean, hey, I made it, I think. I can't. Well, yeah, you made it past I don't that know. Way. Oh, diagnostics. How am I doing? Normal. Cool. Nominal. Well, I read normal, so. Oh, God. Uh, oh, I hate those. Oh no! Oh. Uh. Oh god! Those the way take you a lot more. the edge of the light like that. Those take a lot more bullets than I expected. All right. Uh. Back to nominal, you're fine. We're having a normal time. Oh, Elster has having a normal time. All right, let's see. Southeast corridor. Oh, hey, I think that that door opens from this side. Yeah. No entry. All right, unlock the door. Cool. Yay. Uh, if I go through, will it show as unlocked from the... Oh, God. I don't think those were there before. Were those there before? I don't know. I this honestly don't so know. This game is so spooky scary. This okay. game is very much that. So we've got that door down. The main thing with Illuminae is here's a bunch of horror movie shit and it seems like we're going for humans are the real monsters and then we swerve to actually hope and care for fellow humans will always prevail and the real horror is capitalism. Here, here. Ooh, good post. Good thesis. Alright, no entry. Love a work with a thesis like that. Entry. Well, let's see about this room. Oh, big. Borg. West Wing Key. Can I not? Oh, right, me. You don't look like you belong here. You're an Elster unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, that's fair. I probably shouldn't. Uh, hang on, I think... Is that a thing on the wall? We're on the wall. There's something that looks suspiciously, like, detailed. This? Yeah. Oh, can I get it from the other side? There. Nice. About the administrator. From work shift controller to night shift controller. 
Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Affected guard units. Star S2304. Oh, no, the one we found dying was a star unit, wasn't she? Oh, I think that's right. Star oh, S2305. Star S2306. Star S2309. Affected controller units. Uh, STCR S2303. STCR S2306. Until an effective treatment is found or reinforcements are sent from Haymat, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option. Storch Sieben. STCR S2307. P.S. Keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we'll have to ask Calibri from, for help. Oh, boy. Ugh. We're learning about some the more types incident. of human. Yeah, they're looking for an effective treatment. Love to learn about an incident. All right. So I feel like we have learned here is that the stun prod works on those guys, but bullets don't. Maybe. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It might just be that they take a lot of shots. I'm also not sure if there's a difference in where you aim a shot or not. I was going for headshots. No space to carry broken key. All right. Will that mark on my map? No, it doesn't love me enough. Uh, that there's an indicator for when you go off screen. Okay. save the butterfly box and a couple of yellow doors. I think that probably this yellow door or this yellow door are the one... I, th I feel know, like it's this yellow door. You know what else it could be? What? We haven't gotten a good look around the inside of Mensa. I don't want to go back to Mensa right now. I'm gonna try the... the I'm gonna try this door uh, and see if that does me anything. So I'm going... Left up. Do you want to try and get the broken key to bring with you? Well, see, I don't have the space. So the thing uh, here is that I'm going to try to use the the um, west key. Come back here. Okay, Actually, okay. hang on. West wing key. It doesn't say if it's. Oh, so actually, hang on. Northwest or southwest? What? Um. Look at who's on that key. Arbiter? Seo Alina. Is that something I should recognize? Isn't that who the photograph turned into after we came into this place? Oh, it might be. I don't remember. Okay. Hey, Magpie says, I love how fine and normal this is. Yeah, right? Extremely fine and normal. They, they should have titled this game Elster's Very Fine and Normal Day. I guess... This one's maybe closer? I don't know. We'll see if I feel like it's easier to break uh, up or continue to the left. Mm -hmm. Here goes... Wait, it looks like... Oh. oh, I don't like that, actually. Uh... It also looks like there was uh, something in your map that hadn't been explored yet. Um, probably. We have two stun prods. Alright, uh, what did... Look at down. 
And it, you, earlier you said we came from there, but the doors are currently grayed out. Doesn't that mean we haven't investigated them yet? I thought it was they were all blocked? I they could might be, be misremembering. I don't know. Because I don't remember if we got into this area by going through, like... I think the A6 door was locked. I don't remember if we've been down all the way to A7, though, or what could be down there. It's all confusing is what it is. True. Okay, so my ways out of here are through Mensa or through here, uh, either of which I'm going to have to kill probably at least one enemy to get past. Yeah, either kill or try to juke. I don't love my odds of juking in these tight corridors. Understandable. Speaking of juking, yeah. would you like to hear something that is a spoiler that you would otherwise not encounter until after finishing the entire game? Yes. There are four endings to this game. Okay. Uh, four alternate endings. One of those is a hidden ending, which is extremely obtuse. The other one, however, the other three are regular endings that you get through playing through the game as normal. The ending that you get depends on your play style. How long you take, how thorough you are, how much you engage in combat versus avoid enemies. Those will affect what ending oh, you I get. Oh, I hate that slash pause. <laughs> Remember our promise. I am too hesitant, and we are going to be too late. Don't worry about it. I'm a little worried about it. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna try for here. It's C, right? hate the way they move and the way they sound and the way um, they are. Yeah. Alright. West Wing Key. Oh, there's a few things shaft access. We're gonna have Mineshaft Flesh Horror. Okay, yeah. need key. Yes. No entry. I need to check and make sure that that was a pun and that I haven't just been mishearing this entire time. Have you been saying Minecraft Flesh Horror or Minecraft Flesh Horror? I've been saying Minecraft Flesh Horror except this last time. Okay, okay. Looks like it just aims for the center of their body, so I don't think that you can, like, hit them in different places. Yeah. I... it was one or two to... I can't remember if, how many it was to take them down. I'm gonna go for it because we need to be able to access what's past here. Clean. 
Yeah, L Elster aims for center of mass and then waits to aim for the head till they're incapacitated. She's a clever unit, all right. Elster beloved. Elster beloved indeed. Oh boy. Uh, normal time. Normal time. Normal time in the showers. Oh hey. Okay, so that's the other half of the broken key. Oh, the, that, that's, yep, that's someone not having a normal time. Everyone is having a normal time. I can't actually tell where you, like, oh, that's where you walk through. Yeah. Registry. Oh, more stun prods are nice to have. Stun prod. and it, hey, it's good to keep that. a nice collection of those. Uh, Alright, where did that take me? Oh, up there! Uh, so if we can get through this area, then we can get back pretty easily to the save room. Looks like it, actually, yeah. Assuming that the door unlocks from this side, which it probably does? Probably... Uh, the fact that the text menus take time while other things are moving. Just, uh, uh. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing normal. Okay. How many this items do This is why I'm not have? driving. One, two, three... Um, we can probably get the the um, other half of the broken key, though. Like, it should stack, right? I don't know. If you want it to be safe, you could put the, like, big health frustration that takes a long time away. Yeah, that's probably the, the, the smart The cosplay here. foam. The cosplay foam. That's all I've ever used it for. I haven't actually used it for insulation. Although it's probably not the same stuff they use for insulation, I guess. Just just stick some foam in your replica. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. Alright. Shit, am I out of- oh. Two shots, center of mass. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I'm gonna reload save. I didn't realize they actually get back up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. When they're in the finishable state, they do get back up after a time. Yeah. I, mean, I think that you can shoot them again to finish them, but... The problem is that I also thing. didn't realize that there was a second one there. I think I'm going to go back the long way. Um, let me leave the cosplay foam. I'm hoping that having the two halves of the key is enough, and it's not like, oh, you gotta find some duct tape also. If it does- oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot! I forgot! <laughs> the banging on metal noises that continue to echo when you leave a room really are something. Man. If you think my memory is bad, Seeps has an anecdote about, uh, 
forgetting about a lit firework in his hand after he lit it. Oh no. That that's that's her go-to example for like ADHD is very very real. True. ADHD is real and it's coming to get you. It already has. Oh god, oh god. ADHD is real and also coming to get Elster. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak past because if I can get... Well, she's on the other side of the room. Wh which replica unit is ADHD? <laughs> is, that, is that Adler? No, oh. Adler doesn't deserve that. Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying to think what a good pithy nickname would be. ADHD... Ooh, see that that's that is strong Sakari, but that's like the that's like the Star Wars droid nomenclature. That is the Star Wars droid nomenclature. Also, welcome to chat, Sakari. I'm having a Adrian. time. I don't know what her passing time is. I'm stressed. I'm, I honestly don't know if it's a path in real time or. No, I I think works. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, because she's at different... I'm pretty sure she's sometimes at different parts of the room. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I think that she's just kind of hovering around the door now. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I am going to use the stun run on her because I'm smart. Sikari says, mostly right, lurking, but enjoying the sounds of horror and struggling. Thanks, Sikari. Yep, that's what we're here for. Oh, see? I was right, I was right. Oh. You, indeed you weren't. Alright, I'm back the long way around. Enemies don't respawn, right? When you would tell me if enemies respawn, right? Hey, Malta, I have something to tell you. When? You might be able to kill things, but you can't kill them dead. No! Time is a resource. Hate to say I'm this gonna fan, get the but, um... worst ending to this game. <laughs> I, I never said that any of the endings are better than each other. Or that being slow would make it worse. When I said time is a resource earlier, that was my hint that uh, they can get back up eventually. I don't like that. That's mostly what I went. I don't like it either. That's why I'm not. That's why I haven't played this game. <laughs> One of many, many reasons. All right, and let's see if they do stack. They do not stack. Okay, thank you, Win, for saving can you me the trick. Them and combine them. Can I combine them? Let's see. F. Combine. Oh, this will be for the butterfly oh. box. Okay. Uh, There's a puzzle solved. Okay. Well, we can get back around. Uh, so, what I'm getting here is that we need to explore as fast as possible. Uh, to trade off against, like, ammunition. That is correct. If okay. you... Yeah, one way to save ammunition is to move through areas swiftly and try not to come back to an area once the enemies have picked themselves up. Okay, no, that makes sense. There is a finite supply of ammo in the map, but technically an infinitely replenishing amount of bodies to put that ammo into. All right, no, that's that's good to know. I don't like it, but it's good to know. Yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, that's so spooky scary. Spooky scary skeletons. Actually, Replica has the same number, has the same beat as Skeletons. We can just sub that directly. 
Spooky, scary replicas. Hell yeah. I think this deserves to be a full parody for this Halloween. I'm gonna get to work. I love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love you too. Okay. So I don't I don't think that I, I think that now that we've grabbed the other half of that key, we shouldn't need to go back anywhere except uh maybe Mensa. Yeah, if you think there's anything that was like in there. I don't think there was necessarily I, no I don't think there was necessarily anything in there. The fact that it's called Mensa makes me have questions. Um mm -hmm. But so far as I know uh, we've cleared everywhere except for confirming that we've cleared Mensa. There are some gray doors in the northwest. Oh, yeah, because investigated. Cause I'm not counting northwest, because northwest is the one we keep, like, dodging through. Yeah. Um, but everywhere else, uh, I think every room that we've entered other than that we have cleared as far as clearing works so far. Like, we've got this, this one correct. door here, but that's... But yeah, we've got, we've got the wall safe, we've got the butterfly box, we've got this and door, like the and we've got the elevator we might need to get to eventually. Well, yeah. That's like the last thing. Um, I am fully anticipating that I'll need to, like, dodge full tilt towards the elevator and that this will be fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't think she'd actually notice you. Yeah, so I'm gonna one, two, three, four. Yeah. Alright. Uh butterfly box first. It is good to see what's happening there, since we do now have the answer to the puzzle. Yes. And I love a butterfly. A mysterious artifact is placed in the box. Plate of Eternity? Uh... Uh... -huh. huh. I think I might have regrets. About not saving. Uh. <laughs> when are you fine. okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I think this is the way we were facing first, which implies that it's the way we're supposed to go. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm I'm having regrets about not saving first. That is what I'm having regrets about. Uh, no, I, I heard you, like, make a noise right as I was hitting the button, and I was like, oh no. I just don't- I know enough about this game to be terrified at what the consequences could be, but I don't know enough as to, like, how it goes. Some kind of special-looking mechanism. There's some sort of speaker or microphone on the front. Let's try it the other way. Oh, we can't sprint. Okay, good to know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm not I'm not loving the fact that I didn't save. And now we're um here after picking up a very normal looking object. Well we do still have the items that we had. Did Am I going crazy, or was there, like, two ways to go before? No, that, that gate was always behind you. Okay, so I'm just going insane. Just a little bit. Cool, good to know. Uh, ad break time. Uh, well, ad break, and also I'm going to continue to poke around a little bit, because I don't think I'm going to get very far in the next minute. And we move pretty slowly. And we move pretty slowly. How are you enjoying the horrors? I love the horrors. I'm a big fan Yippee. of the horrors. And I'm glad you're here with me. 
Yeah. <laughs> I love the, like, strangled way you said that. I'm glad. Octon. I wish I'd say. Oh, wait, that's information. Uh, uh what does Octon mean? Oh, uh, that means, uh, warning, danger, or attention. Cool. However, the door had text on it. Did you see the text on the door? I did not. I right, was I, I was save. trying I was trying to click on the door to like get a closer look, but it just opened instead, and now I feel very silly. Oh no worries. So welcome back from ad break. Uh, the door on it said rot front o six. Rot front o six. Lovely. Rot front. And also uh, some text that was illegible and octung in big letters. So it's fun. It's a lovely place. Uh oh. <laughs> that noise tells me you saw something that I haven't noticed. No, I just saw the colors on that thing on the table, and for a second I thought it might have been another king in yellow. <laughs> Alright, time to but click I'm on sure everything something... and see what happens. To Radio yeah, exactly. Officer Young, Station 6. Dear Iris, I hope both you and Ariana are both well. I can't remember if this was the first photograph girl or the second photograph girl, but it was one of them. Uh, I've spoken to the officials at Aeon, and they agreed that it would be best for Ariane to attend school in Sector C. I have a spare room she can stay, stay in until she graduates. I know you two are inseparable, but we both know that it is best for your daughter if she receives a normal education in the city. Love, your sister Camilla. Uh. Okay, let's see. Where are you? There's a replica radio module. Yes. Radio module can receive radio transmissions on frequencies between 50 and 250 kilohertz. Access the radio module by pressing up in the inventory screen. When tuned to certain frequencies, automatically decoded messages will appear in the transcription window. Cool! Mushroomillion says, I've been just listening to the horrors because I'm listening to the stream while grocery shopping. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying having the groceries during the horrors during your grocery shopping. The groceries during your horror shopping? Uh, something? Yeah, I don't know. Horrors. I'm having a time. Grocery horrors. I think grocery horrors is what Coda experiences. <laughs> Run 64 long wave radio receiver module user manual. Sikari says, the grocery stores. The REM-64 long-wave radio receiver module allows a replica unit to directly receive and process low-frequency uh, amplitude modulation, that's uh, LF low-frequency AM amplitude modulation uh, radio transmissions in the range of 50 to 250 kilohertz. The REM-64 module is installed in the module slot behind the left ear of Generation 5 replicas. Is that what AM stands for? So it's amplitude modulation and frequency modulation? Like, oh. that's what AM and FM is? I don't actually know, but that sounds correct. I'll look this up while we continue. Thank you. To access the module's functionality, open the inventory screen and press W to open the subsystem screen. The receiver module will show up on the far left here. To show the radio receiver on and to switch the radio receiver on and off, press F. You can adjust the frequency with Q and E. When the receiver is on, the frequency indicator will light up red and the spectrogram bars will begin to move. When tuned to a station with a subcarrier signal, the signal label will ignite. When tuned to a station transmitting a data stream, the data label will ignite, and the transmitted data will be displayed in the transcription field at the bottom of the screen. This seems simple So you enough. did call it. That is what AM and FM stand for. See, this is a thing that I've been wondering for, like, a while now. Uh, and just haven't bothered to look up. So yeah, one transcodes information by, uh, changing amplitude and the other frequency. Me trying desperately to figure out what these books are. I'm sure it's just a background item without, uh, significant narrative significance. Yeah, but now it's bothering me. Uh, then worry about it, I guess. Hey! 
The door is locked from the other side. No map data. Cool, 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 cool. Rations. Alright, are you something I can click on? No. But you have a new tool. You have a new toy. I do have a new toy. You can radio tune. Oh, right! I fully forgot. Okay. You just click that right in behind your ear. just zoom around until something clicks. That could be how it works. Maybe. Yeah, it's 50 to 250, so that's a big range. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the, the diagnostics panel you have on the right there in a bit of detail. Oh? diagnostics and you have readings that map between hypersensitive hypersensitive versus catatonic and fragmented versus overclustered Wild. on a uh, system psychogram oh man okay. imagine being a replica and just having a menu to tell you that god probably somewhere in here there is a radio frequency Maybe? There's also the inspectable thing that we didn't find anything to do with outside. Over here? Yeah. Oh, 160. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go to 160. What would I do without you? Um, experience the horrors alone. God, you're probably right. Okay. Uh. Mm. Locking mechanism. Is there no way to broadcast on 160? I don't think so. Aqua radio with that? Oh. Oh, I guess that turns it on. I feel very stupid now. Uh, don't. Okay, I won't. It's new buttons on the menu that you could not have been expected to anticipate. I don't think there are actually buttons we can press. I think that now you have it tuned in, it might do something if you interact. Maybe, yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, thank God we're back. Mushroom Alien says the true grocery stores are the two miles I have to walk to the grocery store I met along the way. I'm so sorry. The two mile walk to the grocery store isn't as bad as the two mile walk back with all the groceries, though. See if that's to look forward to. Now time for a save. Uh, congrats. You have a radio. I do have a radio. And we know a little bit about how it works between tuning and turning on and off. And I think yes. earlier we saw something about a, a radio frequency related to the wall safe. Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, no, ugh.
So opening that butterfly box sure did just either teleport us or give us some kind of hallucination of a place that was apparently relevant to Ariane. Skimming through all of these, trying to see if I can catch a poor frequency. I don't think that we've gotten the frequency. I think we just read something that said that somebody was like it's broadcasting. That someone had yeah. gotten it. I'm just making sure because I don't remember everything. I think, I think you're right. You will also just get various things if you leave the radio on. Both coded transcriptions and, um, so it's a way to interact with. I feel like I should be writing these down. That depends on how hard you want to try. Because writing down every single coded message is like the trying to craft the secret ending kind of thing, not necessarily a relevant to a regular playthrough kind of thing. So playing with this more might be something I want to do off camera. Um, Potentially. But I, I wanna I wanna scroll through all the things real quick. I feel like there's something else relevant that we've read recently about the radios of replica units in Serpinski being disabled. Uh, yes. Uh, here, let me... I don't think it was the interrogation report. That's for the That's missing the navigation mapping. module. I don't know. Maybe it's not something that it saved. Maybe. I definitely remember seeing it, though. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it only saves certain things that are either major, major lore beats or, like, relevant to puzzles in your memory. Right. Let's see. So we said we cleared everything except... Well, safe. The Northwest Corridor. Yeah, Northwest Corridor, this bit down here, the elevator, and the wall safe. I'm gonna go take a look at the wall safe now that we've got this. Yeah. Because it's, it's possible it could just be the same thing that you were on before as well. Yeah, that's, like it that's what I was thinking. It could just be 160. It doesn't look oh, like right. it's 160. 
I wonder if tuning to something like gives you feedback on it. Like if you press buttons, it tells you something. I don't know. Is giving us numbers. Seven two nine eight O. Is it a repeating signal? Because I wonder if it's like losing some of the data each time and giving a partial string. Yeah, I mean it is repeating, but. the voice. I think the voice was reading numbers out as well. Eight seven six eight five. Two zero four five one two. There is. Hmm. What happens if you go like slightly off? Does it still read the full string, or does it read none of it, or does it read partial? So it looks like when you're on like an adjacent station, it reads a distorted version of it. Or no, it's reading the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think it just resets and reads the whole thing. Mm. Okay, we started at about 160. Bingo. There you go. Huh. Identification card. Star unit ID card. Yeah. Um, and I think that stars are combat units, so you could use that to take the protector elevator? Yeah, protector elevator. Star S2320, guard, hospital wing, level 3, cycle 39. Well, that gets us back down the elevator, but there's still the unexplored northwest. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and then go kill the northwest replica and explore over there. Sounds like a good plan. I'm full of good plans. I don't like that it goes red. I love that loading screen. What are you talking about? Don't you love that loading screen? Don't you love the sort of glitchy CCTV camera that we view this game through? 
We have Clunkstone, we have some pistol. We just saved. Because if I can get her while she's on the other side of the room, then I think I can take her down with just bullets. Yeah. Because they, they get stunned for a little bit when they first notice you, so if you shoot them in the back, then they, uh... Fuck, whatever she is, she's taking shots. Uh, well, it gives you free run of this hallway. Yes. No entry, yes entry, and yes entry. Let's try here. Oh, great. What is this room? Uh, the map says isolation. Oh, it's ISO. Oh, I'm sure there's great and normal things in ISO. This uh, is interrogation. Uh, oh, grand. I don't like it. Frequencies. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Shit, this I should be writing down. It might also just get written down in your thing, but getting it somewhere that you can see it easily is good. Screenshot that baby. I would yeah. hope that's one your memory saves. I'm gonna uh, double check. The... Yes, okay. The cool. whirring of that interrogation light sure is um Yeah, I don't I don't like it. Um, but yeah, it gives us frequencies and what they map to. Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, sword. Apparently they got tree in this game. They got tree in Love this wins. game! Love wins! And tree is really just a creature of all time. Absolutely. Delighted to see that creature. Me too. Okay, is there anything in isolation that I should be worried about? Like, there's definitely someone in here. Uh... I think there looks like an interactable in the middle. In the middle. Okay, yeah, I see. But yeah, I think I can straight up just kite her. Oh, fuck. No, you're good still. It does look like another big one, though. I wonder if that's another no start. No space to carry repair split. Repair. Re Yeah. Okay, so I am gonna go back to storage real quick because that sounds like a good thing to have, and I don't think we're coming yeah. back here. Okay. Oh, what you could. I? I don't know if we're gonna need to hold on to the plate of eternity constantly or not. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm gonna store it at least for the next like minute. Yeah. Well, there's totally bodies in most of those ISO cages. Yeah. Aren't there? Good and normal. Good and normal. Elster's very normal and good day. Elster's very normal and good day. Elster and Moth and Wind's very normal, good, lovely day. And she never even noticed us. Alright. 
We should probably have the Plate of Eternity on us just in case, because I don't understand what it's for or what it does. Uh, and so I feel like we should probably have it. So I'm going to swap out the Repair Spray and the Plate of Eternity. Or, no. That does leave us with a full inventory. That does though. leave us with a full inventory. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to stash both of them and save. Saving is a good call. I hate the sound it makes, too. I hate the sound it makes and that it turns bright red. Alright. Yeah, everything about it sucks. It really encourages you to save, huh? I don't like it. Alright, we are heading back down. There's that last door and there's the elevator. Alright. Mineshaft access. Oh, I hope know if that we'll have nothing's respawned. Access. Yeah, here's hoping. Well, you can always um, walk past them. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's when that happens. Okay. Oh god. Oh wow. Okay. So that's what that looks like, I guess. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Mm, lovely. Minecraft A access administrator's key. Okay. The elevator lobby was fine, right? The replicas were in the south corridor, I think? There were definitely some in the south corridor. I don't know if the lobby was clear. I feel like the lobby was clear. Yes. All right. Back in our dear friend, the elevator. Yes. Oh. Uh. Where do we want to and go? You now? have your vertical map of the facility. In, uh, do, in your save data. Yes. Where did it go? Okay, we've got. What is Krunkenflugel? A uh, hospital wing. Hospital. Oh boy, I'm sure that's a normal place. That'll be great. So we're currently on the workers level. There's hospital, personnel, protectors, and op command. Oh boy. Doesn't again, we can't get to op command. We could just so we either go to the hospital, to the personnel level, or to the uh, protectors quarters. I don't love any of these options. <laughs> Uh, do you know if there's, like, an intended order? I have no clue. Okay, so we're on floor two, you said, right? Yes, we're on the workers' quarters. Have we tried getting back to floor one? I don't think we've tried going back up, because we used a, um... We used a hole to get down, We right? did use a hole to get down. Elevator controls locked. Cool. Okay. Uh, and you have to retrieve the card before it opens up. And there's an ad break. Cool, 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 cool. Yay. Oh, wait a second. Is that word something that's written in the elevator or that's written on the wall? Uh, so I, I wonder if that could be an in- Can't tell. If it's on the wall, that could be a sign that never got redacted. 
from the whatever the fuck redacted word that the top level was redacted from. Could be. What is Vorsift? When be my Google Translate? It also, it also seems like it might continue on either side. Let me... No, I don't think it... Vorsift. I caution. think that's... Okay. Caution, okay. Well, could be something. Just another one of those industrial warning signs. Oh, wait. Or, no. Okay, here's one. Let's venture out onto one again. Uh, hey. Well, we haven't been to this section of one. No, I don't think we have. Uh, who's that? Oh, it's you again. I'm glad you're still okay. Have you found who you're looking for? Oh. No, Aisa. No, we haven't. Thank you. Aisa? Here is where we were on our. Uh, where, here's where we were on one. Mm -hmm. So we've got Great. some options here. I'm glad that I thought to come up here. Yeah, good eye on that. Right. No entry. No entry. No entry. Good to know, good to know. How did Aisa get here, and why is there a stain on the benches next to her? Simply just don't worry about it. I mean, she hasn't attacked us or anything, so I guess I won't worry about it. down to three. Alright, hospital wing time. I feel... Oh. oh. Uh. Um. Card uh. impounded. Can, is there? Oh, did it just lock us onto three? It did just lock us onto three. But I have a, so I guess I that have a feeling happens. that this isn't because we chose floor three. This is because we went below floor two. So I think it would have locked us on three anyway. Yeah, that is quite possibly the case. And we went up to go see Aisa before that, so that was a good decision. Yeah. Yes, we have shotgun rounds. Elevator lobby. I'm horrible at print. Is it Aisa or Isa? What are we rolling? Mm. To Google. An elevator shaft. Well. I'm gonna see what like key this needs. It unlocks from the other side. Cool, okay. So apparently this name has multiple uh, etymologies. Yeah. The German origin is uh, something is often given to girls and means strong-willed, often shortened from Isabel and Isadora. Mm -hmm. uh, also separately, in Arabic cultures, the etymology derives from Jesus and is often given to uh, to boys. Uh, and the doctor from How to Fool Boyfriend is named Isa. Oh, thank God, it's a save room. Oh, hey, another save room. And, oh, look at that. Well, that looks like we have options now. Oh, yes. Do you like having a shotgun in your hands? Maybe. I think we're still using the pistol. Uh, I think we have to, like, actually yeah. equip the shotgun. 
Yeah, almost certainly. Uh, so it should be, I think, slower but more powerful. I'm going to drop the pistol and... oops. Yeah, pistol and pistol ammo. Yeah. What is it? So it's, so it's a fletchette, so... in a wide cone, so if you want to delete something, you'll need to be close enough to, to hit it. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got some options. Uh, we've got... There's a replica patrolling around here. Uh, we've got this door up here, and we've got this door up here. Mm-hmm. I'm really starting to uh, to sense the game's method of like leading you to an object, the way that it defines something that is interactable. But I'm also mm -hmm. scared because the better it's getting at drawing our eyes to those, the better it could be hiding bad things. That's essentially where I'm at, yeah. Insert blank card to begin print. Secure access card print system. Nice, okay. Uh... So we have this possible interactable at some point. I'm gonna just sneak across here. Mushroom Alien says Isa, like me. Hell yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. North Corridor. Uh, Examination room key. Maybe we'll learn something in the hospital. It's not impossible. It feels like a good place to learn about whatever, um, what did they refer to it as? Oh. Oof. Oh. There is, I'm curious about this, about C and D, the skull and the, whatever the other thing was. Oh, I see, they're all up on that table. Yeah. Or behind the glass. Okay, I, I am going to say, uh, you're going to have to pay attention on these because that is bright enough and I'm going to put my sunglasses on and I might miss something. Understandable. Okay, so that, hmm, I, there's some, there's a plate or yeah. something? There's definitely I can't tell if that's something. An, yeah, I can't tell if that's an implant or if it's indicative of that being a replica rather than human. Now that has puzzle info on it. That totally looks like a puzzle yeah, info. Yeah, this looks like a puzzle. I, yeah, take a little shot of that. Yeah. Let me try and defer. God damn it. <laughs> Let me try and desperately to print screen. Just, just hey, psst, look, look in Discord. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. What would I do without you? 
uh, suffer the horrors and get a migraine from looking at the I extremely bright thing. I would get a migraine from migraine. looking at the extremely bright thing. Um, I don't know if you've been following the Yuppie Psycho playthrough, but every so often there's a, an area we have to go to that is the, like a very, very bright, like green screen green. Um, and I have to put on my sunglasses when we go there. <laughs> Is that the, like, inside the computer system? The, like, digital space? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's definitely someone walking in here. Morg! Oh, boy. All right. Hmm. The x-ray shows as an interactable. I wonder if somehow eventually there's a way to put things into or take things out of that. I, I bet, wonder if the yeah. last slot was like empty. Alright. I ah, shit! I was gonna say, I feel like we can sneak around here. But actually, I feel like we can sneak around here if we time this less horribly. I think that was about uh. the worst time I could have walked in. It's fine, we just got shrieked at a little. I don't little like getting better. shrieked at. So sorry, Elster. So sorry. Okay. Let's think of this as we are helping Elster through the horrors and not putting Elster through the horrors. I like that better, yeah. Shotgun rounds. Not only is the game really trying to convince us to use a shotgun, but the fact that you picked up those rounds on the first floor is like extra ammo you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. It looks like there's something next to that body on the left. Possibly. I'm on like the next one on the bottom left. She's coming back from there. Ooh. Tell if that's something or not. Probably not. Uh, yay, the morgue. Yeah, I, I, you know, can't, I can't tell if anything else in here is. Oh, God. Oh! oh. Uh. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hate cool. Hate that. Wowie. I was about to say, you know, the morgue is where you expect to see dead bodies. So that's a little bit less unsettling than most of the other. And then the floor guy came. They Sikari are so says excited. they just scream because they're so excited to see you. They're my friends who I have to put bullets in. Bullets or flechette rounds. Either works, really. I don't understand the difference and I'm too afraid to ask. Oh. A flechette round and a shotgun is like a shrapnel. Lots of little shreddy bits. Okay. Bye. Having a normal, having a normal, having a normal one. Extremely normal. I don't know why we have, like, one spare pistol ammo. I'm gonna go put that away. Yeah, that's a good to save. Yeah, and we're, we're honestly coming up on two hours, and my nerves are pretty fried. <laughs> nerves are fried, and if we continue to, like, explore more of a level and then come back to it last time, there's going to be all of the, like, relearning to do. Yeah. 
Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. We made it to the hospital. We made it down another level, yeah. and then our our key card was impounded, which is oh god. A, a key card getting impounded doesn't seem like something that just happens on its own. When I think I broke things. Wait, what things broke? Everything. Oh no. Um. Panic? Should we panic? I think no. But I can't click on anything, which means I can't check if there's anything to raid. I can't raid people, and I'm probably going to have to shut my computer down to stop streaming, which I don't love. Oh, no. Something yeah. something went horribly wrong. I think Elster ate your mouse. I think Elster oh. did eat my mouse. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just gonna... Okay, can I do things now? No. Thanks for oh, and I both. got an achievement that says, uh, lose something of no value. Uh, also, Sikari says, a planchette round in a shotgun delivers messages to ghosts. Cool, okay. But, um, something, fish. something happened with the, the print screen. I oh, think. Yeah. Man, it's, like, still broken. Some things are working a little bit, kind of. Well, we, we might have to call it a no raid kind of today. Wait, no, I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh. Things oh, still gaming. aren't quite working. Um. Okay. And it's a no raid kind of day anyway, because no one's live. Yay! Okay, can I Hippie. stop streaming? Let's figure out if I can stop streaming. Bye, everyone! Bye-bye, take care. Oh god, it's not working. Uh... uh oh, fuck. Um... Please, please, please hold while I try to figure out what the default uh, toggle streaming and recording buttons are without do, being able do, to do, open do, the do. settings. Um, let me look this up. You're an OBS, right? Yeah. OBS default keybinds. No, there is a default. Oh, no. Please let there be. Welcome hell. No. Keyboard shortcuts. No, it's looking like there isn't. Oh dear. Yeah. So you can set one, but there isn't by default. Uh oh. Uh oh. Enforce streaming quota, Sikari says. Uh oh, spaghetti goes. Okay, hang on. Start uh, recording, okay. stop recording. By default, OBS hotkeys functionality is effectively disabled. Well, uh, so I'm going to need to set this up at some point. Yay. We are locked in this fucking room. Well, much like Elster, we are now locked in this fucking place. We're back in the fucking building. Do the metal banging noises. Oh god. Uh, shit, how do I open a terminal? Because I, I bet I can X-kill. And that's <laughs> probably less damaging than shutting down the whole computer. Uh, 
Alt Shift T, Control Shift T. It's something. There's uh, for Windows sure keybinds. No, 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 no. Uh, it's not. I'm on Linux. Oh, right. Pardon me. It's something T. Control Alt T. There we go. Okay. X kill. 